has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. And let's step back for a second to look at the top shooting point guards in basketball this season. Third is Goran Dragic. Some remarkable shooters in that group, guys. And you know that when you're seeing those types of numbers at the point guard position, you're talking about some very intelligent, patient players. Precisely. I mean, when you watch any of them, nothing's forced. I mean, it's good, smart shot selection, simple basketball. But that being said, don't take anything away from their natural ability to flat out bury that jumper. They can do that, too. Remains Phoenix ball. That's tipped. Morris kicks to Bloodsoe. Shot to stop the run. With that shot, the Raptor lead is cut down to just two points in a bucket from Trudich. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Ross against Dragic. And Terrence Ross, good for three. Ross has got the lead back up to five now for Toronto. Dragic kicks it to Tucker. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Tucker's got his second bucket tonight. How about the response? Retaliation. Impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly that as well. Nice job to recover those three points right away. Valanciunas inside, softly drops in the floater. Valanciunas has got seven. Boy, they are having their way in the paint right now. So many looks right at the rim. Defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get the ball in close time after time, Steve. For years, the Raptors had been a doormat for a lot of teams out west. An easy win, but last year they were one of the best teams in the east when it came to playing against the west. The shot by Bledsoe, nobody around. Another three for Phoenix. What a terrific job to hit the release perfect that time. I thought it might get blocked or deflected, but nice stroke. Even with giving up a lot of size in that matchup, still able to get off a nice long range shot there. And it's Lowry penetrating. And now the Suns, a fast break. And uh, the officials call the foul, reaching out and committing the intentional foul here. And his teammates are baffled. Yeah, everybody's kind of looking at him like, what are you doing? I mean, I think he just lost track of the situation. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Miles Plumlee's checked in for Alex Land. And it's Gerald Green in for Goran Dragic. Raptors were one of just a few Eastern teams to go over 500 against the Western Conference when they went head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I think it had to do with the Raptors' ability to get hot. You know, when this team is hitting their shots, they can compete with anybody, and there really isn't much an opponent can do about it. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, the Suns bringing in Isaiah Thomas this summer. Coach Jeff Hornacek said, quote, Isaiah is another guy who can create a lot of things for us. We want to push the pace and keep it going for all 48 minutes. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull a little Don Nelson and put three point guards out there at once. Guys, that'd be fun to see. They love players who can create in the pick and roll, Doris. Fits. Lowry kicks to Williams. Patterson down low, working on Tolliver. Suns have gone an even 50% from the four here in the third quarter. Four of eight. That doesn't go either for Green. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Lowry has the open look. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Suns leading. Tolliver dishes to Morris. The drive by Green. Here's Plumley. Toronto grabs the miss. Miles Plumley, Steve, buried on the bench in his rookie season with Indiana. But the Suns saw something in him, and they would not sign off on the Luis Scola trade without Plumley coming back in the deal. Well, it was a good move on their part. Plumley stepped into their starting center position, played very well, and uh, has a bright future, really, in Phoenix because he fits right into what they're trying to do. And the Suns' top draft pick, Alex Lynn, dealt with ankle issues last season. That being the case, how big was Plumley for this? I mean, he's a big-time glass eater inside and an above-the-rim finisher to help force the D to collapse. He's a guy that 
I think has tremendous upside and is extremely athletic for a front line player. The drive by Green. That one a little long. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. Fields the pass to Patterson. Williams kicks to Vasquez. From the high post. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And Plumlee still working to expand his skill set, but you don't find any seven-footers who can uncork a 40-inch vertical leap. I mean, his athleticism sets him apart. In a moment to check out Patrick Patterson here. His stats have been pretty good the last few weeks. You can see he's showing up as one of the premier performers in the league. Third and three-point field goal percentage. And there aren't too many guys more efficient offensively around the league. He's in the top 15 in field goal percentage. And that three-point field goal percentage of his, splendid. I mean, absolutely terrific. He's been perfect in his form. When he decides to let it fly, it's a thing of beauty. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shot. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Thomas against Williams. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Vasquez. First trip to the line for him here. Free throw good, Vasquez. And Vasquez drops them both. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact, a little more so than they did in the first half. Well, to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. To the right side. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams looking offensively. Spend your Christmas Day with the NBA. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from kind of an unlikely source here. Yes, the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard. Huh? <laughs> Serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Johnson is out there with Patrick Patterson. Then it's Vasquez. And there's Landry Fields. And it's Johnson in at the three. It's tipped. Johnson inside. He's against Morris. Now here's Dragic, guarded by Vasquez. And the basket by Thomas. Wow, fans just getting their money's worth tonight. Really entertaining ball game. It has been. The margin separating these teams has been paper thin. Johnson goes in, kicks it out to Vasquez. It's Fields on the wing. Toronto working the ball around now. Vasquez can't get it to go. Suns trail by three. Here's Thomas. That's good. You know, the big difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. Rogic against Fields. Johnson. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Lenz got his fourth rebound in this one. Thomas dishes to Morris. Rogic kicks to Thomas. Outside Green to take the lead. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't been back. The guys here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is This could be an instant classic, fellas. I mean, this thing has all the looks of a game that's going to go right down to the last shot. And Phoenix making a change here. Bledsoe's checked in. Terrence Ross is checked in for Toronto. Lowry comes in for Vasquez. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, guys. I was able to hear Dwayne Casey coaching his team during that break. He told his players, guys, we're letting up the city slip away in transition. Let's push it up the floor, look to score some points in early offense. Kevin, can they pick up the tempo? Thank you, Doris. Patterson, that's good. And the Raptors lead by one. He's really looking to stretch this lead out, even with the cushion they have. Still letting it fly from long range. I love the aggressiveness. Morris tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. 
Toronto's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And the jam by Ross. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, there's always room for more offense, Steve. You know that. Bledsoe against Lowry. A double-team Bledsoe. Looking for Dragic, and he gets it there. There's the bucket. Good. Dragic has got four points this quarter. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Phoenix. The Raptors also with a sub. Bonus Valanciunas, he's checked in for Patterson. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely, those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. So nice to have a guy like that who can take charge at any time. Yeah, so many of his passes, Steve, have led directly to baskets. Inside, here's Len, and that one's good. Yeah, they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Raptors with the lead. Ross with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Outside Lowry. Let's it go from deep. And again, Toronto with the triple. That's his second three-pointer of the half and his third overall. Phoenix has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Tucker the pass to Lamb. There's the killer two-handed slam. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Phoenix has their hands full guarding against Lowry. He's got 13 points, and he's drained three three-point bombs so far. I'll tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. Suns trail by three. Valanciunas on the double team. Pass to Tucker. He kicks it to Bloodsoe. Wide open look. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by three. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Raptors. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to keep this man. Very impressive. They forced quite a few turnovers as a result. You also can't overlook how well they defended the rim. They've challenged virtually every shot in the paint. He's really the guy you want on the strike in that situation. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's clutch. Lowry dishes to Ross. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got nine assists now tonight. Just huge. 